friends, I want to show you today two math books that I have for my third grade daughter. They're both level three and they're both very different. So I want to show you them, compare them, contrast them so that you can see what might work best for your family. The first one I have is a Becca. This is the one that I started out with, arithmetic level three. And the other one I have is master books level three. So this is the one that I got at the beginning of the summer, knew we were going to use this, and then several weeks ago when I started planning for our school year, I started panicking a little bit because it just overwhelmed me. It is a lot. So every day there are two pages. I know we don't have to do both pages, but even just the way it was presented kind of made me nervous. And I realized that I think I'm going to have to start using the lesson plan book if I'm going to use a Becca, which is totally fine. I'm sure most people use the lesson plans, but for me, I just never have. And maybe now that my kids are getting older, or at least my third grade daughter, math is not necessarily my strong suit. So maybe I need to start using this. But I did go ahead and buy the master books because I've heard a lot of good things about this. It is a Charlotte Mason approach. I'm sure that most people do not do both of these curriculums together, but I wanted to give this one a try. And what I found was that about half of this book will be review from what we did last year, which I'm okay with. Let's start off with that. And what I like about it is it tells a story and then the child here is learning about time and then my child learns about time from that story. So I really like that it is very Charlotte Mason, you know, read a story, do an activity about it. I like that a lot. I want to show you what when inter, when division is introduced, this is what it looks like. There's a story and then it shows it shows it with pictures, tells the story, there's some activities to do with it. And with a Becca when they introduce division, this is what it looks like here. So I agree with people when they say that Masterbooks is a gentler approach and that Abeka can seem a little bit more intense, but I think they both have good. They both introduce multiplication and division together, which I think is really important. When I was being taught multiplication and division, it was multiplication first, division several several months later, but they are related. So it's neat that both books teach that together. That's cool. But I also want to show you, um, as far as the intensity goes, this is on the day 50, 150 of your school year. This is what the page looks like. Sorry, I'm having trouble turning it. Okay, because it's two pages that they will do. And then with the master books level day 150, it's just very simple like this one page. Now, obviously I am the teacher. I could just do one page or just a few problems out of this book. I just wanted to see what master books looked like and I really like it. So I think we're gonna start off with this, do the review, see how it goes, and then introduce multiplication with this book. And then maybe second semester we'll bust this out and start on this. What I do like about Abeka is it comes with this quizzes, tests, and speed drills book, and it has little drills you can do every day. Last year I had to buy a separate book that just had speed drills in it, and there were about 60 on each page, which was fine, it worked for us, but I do like how it comes with this. And it has little quizzes and tests all throughout the book. So that's kind of cool. Now, how I teach math, is I do let the worksheets guide me. They are in a, they're in an order that makes sense. So we will, you know, if this is the day we're learning about liquid measures, okay, we, we go through this, but I don't just do this. We will then do extension things like manipulatives. I have wonderful, these are great for all grades. We do math with these. If we're doing geometric solids, you know, and this helps with liquids too, because you can take off the tops and fill them with water, doing certain kinds of measuring. I have these 10 blocks. So I have a ton of things that we use with like games. We don't just do workbooks to learn, but they do guide me in what we need to be doing next. And we also do a lot with the, with the whiteboard or um, 
just any kind of extra practice. So that's how I teach math. But the worksheets help me a lot in guiding me with what to do. So these are the two books, Rebecca, Master Books. We're gonna start with Master Books because I think it is going to help me a little bit in my own uh, panic. <laughs> and then we will move on to Rebecca. I will let you know how it goes. And hopefully this helps you figure out what might be best for your family, for your own child, and the approach that you guys take. So, all right. Oh, have a great day. <laughs> Bye.